Today on Zero to Awesome, we're going to reveal maybe a little bit of a secret I've been keeping for a little while about what I keep in my center console here. So this is something I filmed a little while back, never used it, don't know why, but let's take a trip down memory lane and see what I did. So we've got a lockdown gun holster, a gun, and some screws. Actually had this in my truck for about two years now and it's been working out pretty good the uh, the screws have not backed out at all no problem with those I have noticed that with the uh, the Glock here sometimes it gets a little caught on this piece of elastic right here when you try and pull it out but if you you know just give it a little bit of a tug it comes right out mr. stubby here he does he does fit a bit better in there but uh it's good it gives you nice you know, out of the way place to keep your tools there. You got your lock here if you need to lock things. I know some states have laws about that, so you know, check your local law if you need to. So that's it for today. Whoa, actually hold on. That is not it for today because I too actually keep some tools safely and securely locked in the center console of my vehicle. But I actually went about it a little differently and where you used four screws, Steven, I only used two screws. So it's half as many screws, which means it's twice as more good, I think. Let's see how I did this one. Most of the car holsters I found out there involve just some sort of strapping a holster to the side of your seat or maybe a magnet up under the dash. And that honestly doesn't seem too safe, especially if you want to lock it up inside of a glove box. What I had was actually just an extra nylon generic handgun holster lying around because when you live in Texas, you have holsters lying around. This holster does have little belt loop holders and Velcro on the side. At first I thought, hey, maybe I can just Velcro this inside of my glove box, but firearms are kind of heavy and you know, that probably wasn't gonna hold. So instead, I made this out of a scrap piece of aluminum. All I did was cut the aluminum to length in this case, about five inches. Use my fine Italian hammer and excellent hammering skills to get it into the shape that I wanted it to be. Just a little bit of a U. And then drill out some holes in the end. Notice, two holes, not four. My little bracket here with the bend in it gives me a convenient little piece that I can slide into the belt holster and then screw this to the inside of my glove box. And since this is just a generic nine millimeter holster, I also really have a convenient place for an extra magazine or a flashlight. This little bracket also works with pretty much every holster that I have. So if I wanted to use one of my concealed carry holsters, I could actually just clip it on, have the tool stored safely in the car, and if I felt the need to take it with me, I could unclip it and go about my business. A couple of self-tapping lathe screws. And there we go. We have a holster secure in the glove box and we can even lock it up if we need to. And since it is just a generic nine millimeter holster, the sights don't get snagged on anything when I'm pulling it out. But also the little guy, he fits too. Plenty of options. Back to you, Steven, but actually First, I challenge you, can you make a holster with one screw? I mean, I, I did it with two. I think you should be able to do it with one. Hey, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget about those like and subscribe buttons. And until next time, drive safe, my friends.